Hey everyone, I'm Matt Golson, and uh, today I'll be showing you how to do the Microsoft Excel function um, $DE. And it is a financial function, um, most commonly used for dealing with stocks and also um, even even gasoline prices too has, they sometimes have a an ending um, fractional cent value. So that's um, also before we get started, this is on my uh, MacBook, so it's a slightly different format than the PCs, but it's still very organized and uh, does the job well. And also, I'm recording this on the um, Apple QuickTime player, um, in case you were curious. All right, so the $DE function allows us to convert a, um, a given fraction to a final decimal price. And this this function is in relation to the dollar fr function, which allows us to convert a decimal to a, a final fractional value. So let's just see what we have here to get started. Um, a really simple example, first of all. So we're given 50 and 3 fourths right away. So, um, and from this we, uh, we punch in our fractional dollar value, 50.30. And then our final fraction, which is the denominator, which is four. So let's see what we have. Dollar DE. So then it's asking for our fractional dollar, which is 50.30, comma, then our fraction, which is four, equals 50.75. So right away, um, it's a very simple example, first of all. Um, no surprise there. So for the sake of time, we'll go to something a little bit more challenging, but still very simple. Um, here we're given a value of 28 and 1 16th. So before we punch it in though, we should note that because it is 1 16th, we have to type it in as 28.01 in relation to 28.1 um, because that would make it uh, 28 and 10 over 16th, but that would not make sense. So. So always keep it 28.01 over 16. Um, so right, same thing, dollar DE. Then our fraction equals 28.06. Um, and then this is also in a currency value. And I believe this was also, yes it was. Okay, um, this one this one's also the same kind of format too as this uh, this uh, example here. So here's another larger value though, but 31 over 32, so um, 60.31 over 32. So dollar DE, so a little faster, dollar DE. Uh, fractional dollar comma fraction equals 60.97. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. All right, so now we get into our, our negative values and just to prove that they can occur. Um, and I've already pre-formatted uh, these values in the uh, currency format with the uh, parentheses and also um, a red font just to show that they are negative. And, but before we do our function, we have to make sure that our fractions are positive or else the, uh, the final result would um, give us an error. So we have to keep these positive down here. So right away, um, dollar DE, fractional dollar comma fraction equals 15.88. All right, and then from here you can go on to um, just make sure you're in the right, you're in your proper uh, currency format or whatever um, method you're trying to use here. So. Yeah, and that's um, about it. So just make sure you just pay attention to what you're trying to use, and and also um, your fraction. So it's a, I mean, it's a really useful tool for any uh, financial analyst or uh, or stockbroker too. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.